Hello Stamper, welcome to French's video. Well today I'm going to show you uh, the bunny in the hole. I showed that last year and then I share it this year on my Facebook and many asked me how to do it. So this is the front of the card and when you open it up, voila, you get the face. So um, I did this one here because some of the punch are not available anymore. Well really it was just a small oval. This is the boho uh, punch if you uh, wonder how I did the cotton tail there. So all the other punch are available. It's just um, the oval and you know me I don't like to do the same thing twice. So then I did Thumper this year in the hole. You can see those big feet. I think it looked like Thumper and it's the same thing when you open it up you get the bunny. The designer Siri paper that I used of last year of course it's not in this year so I use the composition uh, paper, the natural composition paper. It's a specialty paper on page 162. To be honest with you, I think it's too light, so I'm going to show you how to dark it up in the video too. So let's get started. I got all the punch here that I use. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you as we go the punch, so then you guys can uh, learn as we go. First thing, uh, you need your base card. This one that I did was in uh, pretty in pink. Today I'm using um, pink perlite. You're going to cut your composition paper in four by five and a quarter. So you see this is way darker. This is the way it comes. So what I did I use my wood grain embossing folder and I emboss them. Many complain that when they use the wood uh, embossing uh, folder, it tear up their paper. Here's my tip or my trick. This is a vellum cardstock here. Take it, uh, just two pieces of snail, put it inside, put your vellum cardstock and just leave it there. I use it over and over and that's going to stop your paper of tearing and I glue it on the side that it say, you know, the scissors and stamping up. So I embossed that and then I took a sponge and I sponge very good on it, uh, early espresso. So now you can see I get my dark paper that I wanted. So the bunny gonna pop more whatever. So you get your two piece. You need one piece for the outside, one piece for the inside. And it is again four by five and a quarter. First thing we're going to do is take your cardstock, fold it in two. This is just an eight and a half by eleven uh, cut right in half. We're going to use the one and three quarter uh, punch. Go right in the center and push it all the way. Punch your hole. Now we're going to come and we could do differently and try to match it. For this way me, my old match every time. So this is why I'm going to do it in three steps. So glue this on top. Open this, make sure it don't glue inside your card because I didn't pay attention where I put the glue. Okay, I'm going to turn this around just to rub it. Now you're going to have your uh, circle where you know exactly how to go and punch it again. So we're going to do the same thing with the inside because I want the wood inside too. So let's take this, let's put the glue, let's put this in. I tried to punch it, you know, and matching it. I was never right. So this way for me, it's much easier. Now take your punch again and punch it. Your punch could do maybe two layers, but three layers would be way too much. So that's why I do it this way. So now, voila, you get your card ready to go. Now we're going to start with the front. For the body of the bunny, again, it's the same punch that I use for the center of the card. It's one and three quarter. Punch it in white and sponge it with uh, pretty in pink all around. So I sponge it all around. Then for his big fat feet, what I did, I punched out two of 
the big pedal and uh, build a pedal uh, punch and we're going to trim the bottom. I did one and the other one it's not done. I lost my scissors. Here they are. So we're going to trim it. You see the difference between the two? So we're going to trim just this little piece here, the tip there. So it make it look more like a feet. Okay, so now I just have to punch this. And then I took the big um, petal that I didn't punch, I thought I did punch, so we're going to punch that. This one here is going to be for the inside of his feet. So we're going to need two of that. So one and two. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to trim this, just round it up a bit. And then again this one. And then use your sponge dauber. Oops, don't like this point there. Here we go. Use your uh, dauber and let's sponge this. And then the front, it's almost done, believe it or not. So the, the feed for this bunny, it's done with Bill of Blossom Punch. Now we're going to glue his feet, well, this pad of his feet, I should say. We're going to glue that here. Then the next one. And now I'm going to use a black marker. And with the writing tip, remember you get two tips on your marker. You get the brush and the writing tip. I'm going to add this little uh, claw there. And trust me, I got a bunny. And those claws grow fast. So, yes, it needs some claws. Yeah, I do have a tumper. Big ears, big fat feet. Now we're going to glue those feet and there and one here. So now his feet are in. When it's rounded more than the other, I wouldn't worry about that. Then make sure you don't put glue too much eye there because it's going to go in the O. So I put more on the feet and just a little bit in the bottom. Then take this and I go about halfway in the circle. This seemed pretty good. Voila. We're going to put this tail at the end because I'm going to open that. We're going to work in the inside. Now for the inside, this is his face, and I use the ornament punch. So that's his face. Now for his cheek, I use the three-quarter uh, inch circle punch. And again, this is all a uh, sponge. I did that in advance, so you guys didn't have to wait for me. The bottom, last year I cut that. This year we're going to keep that. We're going to put a bow there. So just add the cheek. And the one that I did uh, last night, he looked kind of angry. So I'm going to change his nose around and see if uh, that's going to change. For his nose, I use the single uh, heart punch. I'm going to punch that. And last year it was a different art too. We don't have that punch anymore. So we can uh, get all the stuff that I'm showing you today. Now... And we're going to take this. Remember I said I'm going to switch it the way that I'm going to do it. Put that right there. Now for the eyes, for the two little circle for the eyes, I use the owl punch. And it's those two right there. So we're going to need those two. Here we go. Now we're going to glue this, and this I rather glue it with my glue dot that I thought I went to get 
but now I cannot find them. Maybe I went to get them and I didn't grab them. And then we're going to put these little eyes. One. And two. Whoops. Now I'm going to take my gel pen. To his little eyes. Here he is looking on the side there. He looked kind of funny without his ears. Now for his ears, I use the large oval and I sponge them again. And then for the inside of his ear, I use my blossom punch again, because remember we don't have that small oval anymore. And I use this petal. So for the bunny, we use them all except the tiny one. So we're going to glue that. This we don't need to trim because it's going to go in the back of his head. So just put that in your scent. Oops. It's going to go lower in the bottom. Don't worry about that because it's going to go in the back of his head, his ear. Then this one. Okay, now we're going to glue this in the back of his head. Here we go. And I put it at the peak there. And go more this way because you don't want to go too high because that would show inside the card. So that's why his ear are more going down. Okay, now we're going to test this here. Perfect. You're going to see just a little bit and that is perfect. Now, this here you want to add lots of glue. And the reason why I say lots of glue, it's because it's embossing. It's raise emboss. So I'm going to take this, glue this right there. Now I take a little taffeta ribbon, going to do a tiny bow. This is perfect. Oh, my glue dots are right here beside me. I don't know what I was looking at, but they're right here. They must have appeared while I was talking. There. Now you get his little bow. Voila! Oh, we forgot his face. For his face, I took again the brush. Do just little dots here and there and do his whisker. Uh, this face it's much better. This one I think it's because I put the whisker down. And this one, look at that, how cute he is. So now for the tail, I dye, that I get a video if you don't know how to dye this. This is the, the ribbon, the rose ribbon, the flower ribbon. In the mini catalog, I'm going to have the number on the, the screen there. I just add a little glue there so it don't come out. Then I'm going to use a glue dot and put this tail. And you want to put it high enough so when you open it up you see the back too. This is it my friend. Oh, the greeting, I use tiny, tiny, teeny wishes with the window punch, the modern label punch. And Put my happy Easter there and voila see how pretty it is with darker I really like it on the darker much better so this is it how to do temper in the hole hope you learned something new till next time happy stamping